Hey, Don Copeland here today, and we're going to show you some, some cool stuff that we can print on our MUTO uh, 661 UF. And uh, as you know, we always like to do when we have an opportunity to take advantage of something that's going on in the people's lives here at Coldesi. And uh, we want to turn that into a real application for your UV printer. And it's my turn. My daughter's getting married very soon. Uh, you won't know from the video, probably by the time you see the video, she'll already be married. But I wanted to do something for, for her and for uh, my future son-in-law, as well as for his mother and for my wife and I. And uh, so I thought about taking some wine bottles. And these are some empty wine bottles. And I printed a picture, this is their engagement picture, onto it. And I've actually bought, on Amazon, I bought some little LED lights that come with a little faux cork that you put in, you turn the light on and it'll light that up. Thought it'd be something cool. I was thinking about using full bottles of wine, but uh, they would never drink it. <laughs> and it wouldn't look cool with the light in it like this will. So I went ahead and got these empty bottles. I'm gonna actually set this on uh, their setting when they come uh, come back for the reception. They can have that set in there. And same thing for ours. But let me show you how we did this. It's pretty cool. All right, so before we get started on printing the bottles, we gotta kind of get the bottles ready to be printed. First thing I wanna do, these are bottles that somebody's taking the, taking the labels off of. So I'm gonna go ahead and clean them up. Just spritz them a little bit with alcohol. And I'm gonna just take, this is just a paper towel. I'm gonna to just clean these up as much as possible. Mainly what I'm looking for is getting off any glue spots or anything that might be there from an original label. If you're actually uh, got clean bottles that have not had a label on them, this will be a much quicker cleanup. There we go, we've got it cleaned up. What I wanna to do too is these bottles actually have a seam on them. You may not be able to see it in the video, but there's a little seam right here. And then 180 degrees, there's another scene right there. So I'm only gonna print based on this artwork that I'm working with. I'm gonna be printing between these seams. So I only need to treat the bottle on one side of the bottle, so to speak. So that is the next process we're gonna use. This is a Pyrosil torch, uh, something that you, we can direct you to online. We do not sell them here, but we can direct you to online. So I'm gonna turn this on and just, I'm gonna flame treat surface of the bottle in between those lines where I'm going to print. All right. Go ahead and do both of them while we're at it. Now we're going to apply the liquid pyrosol to it ourselves here with the brush. Again, just working on the area that we're going to print. Then we're gonna let those dry and we get ready to print them. And we've already treated this bottle. We've cleaned the bottle and treated it so that it's printable. I'm gonna lay it in here. This is the rotary jig here for the 661. I'm gonna slide it in. I'm gonna find that seam. I want that seam to be straight up so I have a, a good start point. Lay that in there. It's already loaded. As soon as, it, as, soon as you print a uh, with the rotary jig, it's actually gonna draw it back in to its loaded position. Close that up, we'll go ahead and send it over. So this is this is cool, 20.2 cents worth of ink to print this bottle. What the uh, printer does on these type of prints, it's only gonna use a small portion of the head so that we have a, a nice close uh, head gap so we get really good quality print on an uneven surface. We're printing the white ink first, followed by the color right behind it, so there's no registration issues from layers, from one layer to another. All right, there we go, it's done. Let's pop this thing out here and take a look. All right. Bring it back up over here. This, these look awesome. These look awesome. So, here we've done it. I think I told you earlier in the video, under 21 cents worth of ink on this. It's onto a straight onto a, a, a standard old wine bottle. We did clean the bottle up. You saw how we promoted it. And now uh, we have a special mode in our RIP software for printing uh, onto the rotary so it knows what to do about the print head and you're reducing the amount of print head. I mean, it's just an amazing quality print. One off, totally custom. Great, great wedding favor. There's a lot of other things you could do with it. You know, birth of a baby, things like that. Um, we have a customer who's actually doing bar mitzvahs and bach mitzvahs custom bottles is for that as well, but it's just another great thing you can do with your Muto Expert Jet 661 UF and uh, just a way to make some money.